Hey, what's going on, fools? Neil Merge back for another review slash food eat fest. You dig? Anyways, uh, just went to McDonald's. They got that Monopoly thing going on. You dig? Uh, I maximized my meal. I got the medium drink, large fry, fat ass. That oh shit! I didn't even know there was shit. There's two chances on that. Oh my. Dude, I just I just scored big time. Uh, and then got the Big Mac. You know, I'm I'm hoping I can win on this shit so I can go back and get some more food later. Anyways, uh Hold on, let me eat some of fries. Alright. So there's our review. Young Z and Mr. Green, one crazy weekend. Now if you know me, you know I'm a fucking Eminem stan, alright? I gotta admit it, I'm an Eminem stan. I discovered Young Z by some trash with Eminem back in the day, about the same time I discovered Pace One. But my favorite track they did together probably was, uh, what was that song? Uh, Makosa, the Outsiders Trap, that featured Eminem. Young Z, Pace, and M all slayed their verses on that shit. Uh, I think Rod Digga might have been on it. She had a dope verse too. But, uh, they killed the verses on that shit. So now we get to One Crazy Weekend. This CD has been about two years in the making. Mr. Green announced it a while back. They dropped a video for, uh, what was that song? Uh, I love it. Great, great ass video. Uh, anyways, CD is dope too. Just as the cover. About to pop this shit in. Let's start it up. So, I was really, really excited for this CD. Waited a couple years. And it finally, finally came out. Alright. So yeah, it was definitely worth the wait. Got this shit started up, you dick. Um, Alright, so, getting off track here, this food is enticing me, dude. Uh, so, yeah, worth the wait. First, starts off with Throw Your Hands Up. Great track. Mr. Green is really stepping up his producing game. Like, this album and that new Pace One album I'm about to review, his production has elevated. Definitely. And, and one thing I respect about Mr. Green is no two tracks are the same. He's not on that Lex Luger tip where all the bullshit tracks sound the same. He, I shouldn't even mention him in the same sentence, but honestly, it's not one of those producers you listen to and you're like, Oh, that's Mr. Green, you know. He's he's very versatile, and I respect that. Young Z is a rare, rare rapper these days, you know. I'd compare him to the likes of Eminem. Although people people really don't like Eminem now. It seems like when he when he goes to the south, you know. One of my favorite tracks was Underground off Relapse. He was just rapping a bunch of shit that made no sense and just a bunch of bars. People hated that track, but I thought that track was one of the hottest tracks because that was the old school Eminem, if you ask me. Anyways, took a while to review this. I had this for a couple weeks, but I had to I had to throw it through the whip test, you know. And I've been busy, but uh, you know, I was I, on my way to McDonald's today. I had to make a couple stops as well. I pit this, popped this in my car, 1997 Cavalier, all white interior, you know how I do, but, uh, and it was a really, really decent listen, man, like, first, first spin on it, I wasn't really sure, but when I was listening to it in my car today, I got it, I got what the CD was, man, this is some classic rap shit, you know, it's really dope, man. I'm not a lot of rappers are rapping this way nowadays, and I, I respect that. Now, uh, you know, you got first track, throw your hands up. 
Next track is Those Days. Uh, you know, typical. Uh, typical track, you know, reminiscing back in the day hip hop. He does it well because his style is just. It's back in the day, really. You know? Then we're on track three. Chilling with the kids. I gotta be honest, I wasn't feeling that first verse, but as soon as his second verse hit on that song, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm feeling this. I don't know what it was, but uh, yeah. So then we go on to I Love It after that, and that song, you already know that. You need to check out that music video. I'm gonna put it down in the, the links, but that's a good, that's a good song right there. Next is Ha 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 Ha. I really actually like this song. Uh, let me hit up on that so you can hear a little bit of that. This is tight. I mean, the CD's been sold out. I want my chick to be like Oprah Stedman. Y'all hate us. I'm back and forth to Las Vegas. Tricking off papers. I'll sit on four acres. Your girl, anytime I come, fuck that whore waitress. Moron, get fucked about your drugs. We all gangsters. XX addicts got letters like Chef Salas. Jersey to five points in my gang like the dead rabbit. Get your head stabbed in. So, yeah. You got that track down. I like that. I like that track, man. Uh, next, we're at Ooh, I'm Telling. That song was out for a couple weeks. Uh, basically, the second promo track they dropped. I like it. You know? Now, let's go to the next track, though. I mean, I heard this song like a million times. Never ever. I'm feeling this one. Let's let this ride out a little. Call my guys right there Then make Chuck Liddell be like the fight's not fair I'ma do this rap shit till I have bright white hair Be 90 on the mic, die that night right there Forever young, till in, my party's rated R I be naked cowboy and I hardly play guitar Harley and them hawks, they parked in a garage Horses and a dog, course for when I go It's whores at the law, Fred, wash a nigga off My little niggas all be ballin' at the mall Cause I bubble up so yeah, this track I'm feeling it, dude. Next track. This right here is actually one of my favorite tracks. He starts. Like, he starts the track off. Rapping. Off beat almost. And then he catches up with the beat. It's, I don't know, it's dope. Most times I'd be like, what the hell is this shit? But it's dope. And this line right here, he says, is dope as hell. Listen. Make my ski leave early like a dishonorable discharge. Shit, I almost crashed my car. No, not really, but that shit. That line, that line is classic, classic Young Z, dude. Like you listen, you, I listen to Young Z for just the most off the wall shit, and he delivers on the CD, man. There are some lines that you're like, what the fuck? Next track we got is the final track produced by Mr. Green. There's actually a. Three tracks on here, not even produced by Mr. Green. But, uh, you know, so you, you still got ten tracks. 
or you got nine tracks produced by Green. And honestly, that's enough, dude. Pretty sure they did this whole CD in a weekend. So nine tracks, you can't hate, dude. This hometown song is really dope, and it really shows the versatility of Mr. Green. Like, it's not like anything on this track. And the sample, nice ass sample there, dude. And you know, Young Z's still spitting like he always does. To let your whole drive to creep on the side of that 745. Yeah, you'll get popped up and dropped in bushes. The kill you for an ounce and a box of Dutchess from my whole time. This song right here needs to be a next music video shot. I'm saying this now. I mean, I think the sample is enough to get people interested in the CD, honestly. I mean, people that aren't up on Young Z, they're going to hear this sample and they're going to be like, look, I'm going to check that shit out. I know I'm a big, big person on sampling, and this track, Mr. Green does it right. So next... We're into the Mr. or the Young Z produced half of the album. Not really half. There's only two tracks that he produced. But uh, we got a song called Number One Fan. Basically, he's talking about his number one fan, uh, bringing back shit from it. You know his past. It's a dope song, you know. Honestly, my first listen through this, this was one of my favorite tracks. Just because he's going back and, you know, letting you know about his catalog. You know? Production's actually pretty good, too. I was, uh, for a second. I was like, wait, Mr. Green didn't produce that? So, you know, it was a good track. If I Only Had a Brain is number 11. The beat right there, something about it is just classic outside of shit. I respect that. Then we hit on uh, track number 12. It's an old freestyle off the Stretch and Bobito show. Got all of Outsiders on there, practically, you know. Ain't got Slang Ton, rest in peace, but uh, it's dope, you know. My only gripe is I wish the one track with Pace, I wish there would just been a track with Z and Pace spitting, you know, besides an old freestyle. You could at least, you know, at least get Pace on the... On the I Love It remix or something, you know? But they are, from what I heard on, uh, from what I heard on, um, through Facebook and shit, they are working on a One Crazy Weekend remix. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that, what tracks are remixing, but Rod Digga is going to be on a couple, and I'm excited for that because. Z and Digga, when they get together, they make some classic tracks. They've remixed a bunch of the Z's tracks in the past, and they've done a good job. So, overall, I give this Big Mac, I mean, shit, sorry. Overall, I give this album, like a 7.5 to a 7.75, maybe an 8 out of 10. Um, it's a good album, definitely. And it's actually growing on me. First time I listened to it, I was like, look, this is like a 6 or a 7. So, you know, honestly, I might even give it, be given leaning more towards the 8 range, you know, out of 10. But, uh, it's a good album. Definitely, definitely worth checking out. Um, Mr. Green kills the production on this shit, you know. There's actually some tracks on 
I was really a fan of that Pace album, and I'm gonna go in on it when I get, uh, when I finally get my copy. But uh, there's some tracks on here that are really competing with that Pace album as far as production goes, and uh, you know I gotta respect Mr. Green for dropping dope ass beats on the CD. Young Z is keeping it old school, you know he's on that old school Eminem slash red man flow you know just saying crazy off the wall shit making you want to rewind the track and be like i cannot believe you just said that dude like i, I respect rappers when they mention shit that no one else has mentioned you know you guys show some originality and i'm a fan of the crazy off the wall shit and this really delivers mr green's excellent producer young z is is back to his roots. I would be really, really excited to hear a part two to this album. Let's get the, let's get one crazy week in part two or some shit, you know? Alright, let me, uh, let's see what we want here. If you're still watching this. Quarter pounder with cheese, bitches! Alright, so far this was a success. Let's see if I can get all my money back from this. North Carolina Avenue. Atlantic Avenue. St. James Place. Alright, so far I only won one free instant win. Vino Railroad. Come on, man. Let me at least get two of the same, you know, shit. Illinois Avenue. Well, I'm building up one of each so far, you know. Alright, here we go. Let's see what I got. Another B and O railroad. Holler at me if you need this B and O railroad. I will mail it to you. I don't even give a shit, dude. Holler at me if you need that. And another Illinois Avenue. So that was disappointing. One in four wins. I got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight of them and I won one instant. So, that one in four wins bullshit, I'm calling BS on that shit. Anyway, shout out to McDonald's Monopoly sponsoring this shit. You know, advertisement down at the bottom. Not really. But, uh, hopefully, in, you know, I get some more videos done and that's that.